Good morning, everyone. It's Ripcal. We're playing some more Pokemon Reborn, and I am terrified. Uh, we ended last video after being uh, teleported somewhere by an Abra, which is kind of cool, uh, except for the part where we didn't get a heal yet. I'm hoping that that's still coming. Um, and we're out of healing items. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. If there's not some sort of healing, we're going to be in trouble, is what we're going to be. <laughs> uh, I did heal up Boon a little bit. Oh, good. There's our heal. Just a red shard. That's ice stone we already have. I'm looking for if there's something more interesting. I think at this point we'll just go for the shard. Oh wait, that's a plate. Damp rock and a fist plate. Okay, this plate's actually not bad, but we do already have a black belt, so it's less good than it would be. Okay. I don't know what the timing is for the next thing that's coming up. So we're going to go ahead and just put Terra in front now. And hope that we can get through. Probably should have pinged a couple more times. Who's there? Rave? It's just me, don't worry, I'm stuck at the bottom of this chasm. Fortunately, the echo is enough for me to hear you. I'm not hurt, but I don't see a way up, and it's too narrow to fly out. And then there's that. The earthquakes have been getting worse. Whatever's causing them must be nearby. See if you can find a way out. I'll keep looking for a way to climb up. idea what this field is offhand. Rocks scattered. It's a sturdy. Sand slash. I'm just gonna toss... Oh. You make any progress? What do you mean a new passage appeared? Like something just cut through the stone? Whatever did that would have to be extremely strong. And large. And nearby. Be on your guard, I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, yeah, no, that is literally a brand new passage. So yeah, I'm putting Chisar in front for this last section here, just because, um... She's the only one who still needs XP. I'm hoping that by the time we get around to the upcoming boss, we'll be good. And then we'll switch Terra back into the front because she's the one I want starting the boss fight. There are two upcoming boss fights. Um, I 
Um, both are pretty high level, so I'm a little bit nervous there. Um, but I do think that we'll be able to... I think I've got a good strategy, at least, for each. We'll see how that works. Uh, nope, that's not it. I was a little nervous that that was going to happen against rock types. They're not, she's not getting enough XP here for this to be worth it. I suspect where we were. I think it is. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab a heal quick. And for the sake of my sanity, uh, we're going to toss a repel and save. Okay. So this was the first one that we found. So I don't think this path is one we've gone down yet. There we go. This ditch is putrid. There's nothing but acid down here. All these containers look like ones from the base. Energy byproduct. There's no telling how it got down there. The fact that it did probably means we're underneath the meteor base. In the depths of Tanzan Mountain. I wouldn't be surprised if the sudden injection of this poison upset the wild Pokemon. Whatever's causing those earthquakes might just try and be trying to retaliate against the meteors. Keep moving, there's got to be an exit somewhere. Wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure this left and right wasn't here. Can you still hear me? Watch out, it's headed your way! There we go. When I saw that this was on the list of upcoming battles, I was shocked. First of all, I was not expecting this. This is cool. This is a custom sprite of a giant on the bat or on the field Mega Steelix. And we're going to get to fight it. This is a level 75 Mega Steelix. Okay. Luckily, Steelix isn't super powerful. And it's pretty slow. First thing we're doing is getting a leech seed down. Second thing we're gonna do is switch to uh, big fella. Because earth power should be enough to finish. Awesome. That went way better than I was expecting. Actually, that was, yeah, I guess Steel Steelix doesn't have a ton of hit points, so that makes sense. <laughs> Giddy up, you dumb beast! Hop on, we're going for a joyride! Oh god. 
All right, here's the plan. Meteor still needs to be stopped, and the twins still need to be saved. So I'm going to leave dealing with Meteor and the Pulse Abra to you. I'll take Steelus, dig around to the other side, and bust the twins free. Get in there, terminate that Abra, and get out ASAP. The real, real leader's coming any time now. If she gets here, it's only going to be trouble for us. Let's move. Um, oh, okay. We just need to do one and then go down. And we have this path. We shouldn't need a repel. Or we got healed. And this is going to be the other one. So I think the plan here is going to be Gore-Tex. And this should be in the factory field. So let's do a quick check here. So Pulse Abra, Psychic Steel Magic Guard. Uh, Magic Guard means, if I remember correctly, that means status effects are pretty much not good. I think it reflected. Um, and then let's check field notes on factory. Do I not have factory somehow? I don't have factory somehow. I have short circuit, but not factory. I'll need to look up where that is. Or at some point here, I may just put the rest of the notes in. There's a password for that. And we haven't put any additional passwords in. But at this point, rather than backtracking to just find a bunch of the basic field types, I feel like it might be better to just go ahead and get them. I still have to look them up. I still have to read through them. I still have to figure out what I'm doing. So I'm going to guess. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to guess. I take it back. I'm just going to give him a ground gem. Because you know what Abra doesn't like? Stab. Earthquake <laughs> with a ground gem. Behave, you stupid vermin. Or that is, um, would you please listen to us, Abra? Believe that Abra's way of politely declining, you little. Right, made it back? This thing really is useless. Perhaps the best. Er, perhaps it would be best to just terminate the project before this Lynn arrives. Sounds like she's rather critical nature. This level of uncontrolled power would, be, would indeed be unacceptable. But can we really hurt this poor Abra after all we've put it through? We can't do anything at all if we can't even get close enough to deactivate the machine without this stupid thing jumping us away. I don't need your sass, Abra. Reef, you wish to spare the people of Spinaltown the chaos caused by this untamed teleportational energy, correct? Let's just let Rafe deal with it. Go ahead, let that little bugger out. It'll work out it for all of us with how annoying it is. Zell? Okay, that's enough. Rafe, deal with this. We aren't going to stop you. Just take down this thing and you can put the chaos to at Cresselia to rest. Okay. So. Meteor Admin Zell setting out a Pulse Abra. So, what we're going to do... We're going to start out by using Protect. Because this thing has Hyper Beam. Now, Hyper Beam is good for us because it means it has a turn that it needs to recover. We can only use Protect every other turn. It can only use Hyper Beam every other turn. How did that work? Do you not have to recharge if you don't do damage? Hate everything. Um, okay. Well, I 
I don't have uh, X special defense, so we're just gonna risk it. Now it has to recharge at least, so that's better than nothing. Um, Hyper Beam's a normal type. Let's switch over to Terra. Hyper Beam doesn't affect Terra. Shadow Sneak? Dark Pulse. Okay, it does have moves other than Hyper Beam. But that does give us a little bit of an edge. And then I guess let's just have Nick finish it off. Not very effective, that's unfortunate. Oh, steel. Just think wasn't thinking about the steel. Um. Is the hail just not... I guess Magic Guard must protect it from the hail. Maybe that's what Magic Guard does and I wasn't thinking about it. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead and just toss another Ice Shard. Because we can't really swap easily. Well, I guess we could swap. I'm just not... Oh, we don't need to swap because it has to recharge because it just killed somebody. Sorry it came to that, Abra. That seems to be a relief. So, Eve, will the nearby regions return to normal now, or is the damage permanent? Any objects that have been moved by Abra's power previously will remain where they are, and further, they are like there are likely some objects that will still move. Already having been imbued with unstable psychic energy, however, no more instances will be created. Slowly, Chrysalia will calm, calm itself. Lynn has just arrived. Rafe is back already? Um, yes. They helped us subdue Abra. So, subdue? You terminated her project? It was unresponsive to all methods of control. Right. Then Rafe will simply have to take the fall. You did not authorize this or it will be on your head. Understood? Report. We experimented with using the pulse to amplify Abra's power to teleport a party into the heart of the ruin. However, Rafe interfered and forcibly terminated the project before it could be controlled. We were just about to dispatch of him. And what of the other creature lurking in the back? Uh, excuse me for the tardy introduction. My name is Dr. Sidman Connell, a psychiatrist of Reborn City and administrator of the C City Orphanage. Dr. Connell has been a great asset. With his help, we've now obtained two of the four keys for being an amethyst. Forgive me for asking, but have we somehow met before? Impossible. Y yes. As for the other keys, Solaris has a lead on Sapphire and the Emerald. There is no particular news about Emerald. Flying becomes you, Sirius. I beg your pardon? You may have received no shortage of praise from Solaris, but do not assume you can talk down to me. I still have seniority, and I will have your re know your place. Sirius? Or has it not already been... Or has it already not already made itself known to you? What more will you lose before you learn it? You. You set up that fake emerald brooch. A bold accusation. Can you provide any evidence? As the one who rigged it to explode, you already know the answer to that. Do you know all that was lost up there? Can you not create more pro a more professional outlet to vent your own frustrations at your failures? To turn on your fellow commander? I fear it will call into question your loyalty. My loyalty? Your competence as well. An astute leader like yourself should have the common sense to know when to fight, when to stay quiet, and when to bend the knee. Commander! A giant steelix just breached the side of the base! It bit right through the holding cells! A what? <laughs> that was my reaction. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you, Rafe? Size does not equate to strength. I'll deal with it. Okay. Alright, Steelix. You want revenge on these guys as much as I do, right? That's what I thought. They trashed your home, so let's trash theirs. 
Safira. Who are you? Do you believe that you could protect your sisters by destroying us? Do I know you? Your petty family bonds are meaningless. Petty? Anything threatens my sisters, I'll tear it apart. That's loyalty, something you've probably never heard of. Family, loyalty, it's all meaningless. All that matters is pure, unbridled power. A dragon, demonstrate. Rafe, leave us, now. This will be your only chance. Oh no! And actually, I think we can... Maybe not? Oh no! I just did a thing. Use that here. Oh, can we use a uh, teleport instead? Nope. We have to finish walking out. There must be a cutscene or something. Yes, I didn't think to go check the cells, but I think we're good. Yes, we're good. Okay, so before we do anything else, we're going to do a quick side trip here, because I think it's very important that we heal before we do anything else, just in case. And I know that we're going to be doing the... Previously mentioned uh, gym leader fight. I don't know if it's right away or what the time frames on it are. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stash most of our team here. And we're going to withdraw some Pokemon that we haven't used in a while. Oof, maybe we're not. How many candies do I have? <laughs> 17, that should be good. Stomping Tantrum. Combat. Outrage uh, is better than Thrash. It's basically Thrash with Dragon typing. That actually makes Merc a lot more well-rounded. Um, so we've got Mark. We're gonna grab Ben. We're gonna grab the way. We're gonna grab Ryan. Uh, we we're gonna grab Tassara. And we're gonna grab. I hadn't picked my last person yet because I couldn't remember who all has what moves. Specifically, I want somebody... Okay, I thought Baldarin had it. I want Sucker Punch. Okay, 
H.O. could actually be good here, too. I'm not sure if Sucker Punch is worth it. When we'd be... Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because uh, we'd potentially be bringing them in against somebody who is also ag against a psychic type. Um... So if like if we had a dark tape, I almost feel like Gore-Tex may be the choice here anyway. Like I don't want to bring Baldarin in against a psychic type just because Sucker Punch is there. That's not the right ones. Just double checking quick to remind myself if somebody else has... Nope. They're not trained up yet. So yeah, I guess let's just go ahead. The important part is getting somebody who has or who can take out a psychic type. Um, reliably. So I think actually I'm gonna grab Terra instead. Um, for Shadow Sneak instead. Oh wait, no, Shadow Sneak won't work. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna go with my gut. We're gonna grab Sam. I don't know if Sam's gonna be useful for this, but just kind of going off of what I'm thinking, and that feels good. Automatize. Nope. That was our last can. So we got everybody above 50. That should be okay. And then let's do a real quick round of I'm kind of hoping that we can just blast through this, but I doubt. I mean, that's never how it happens in these games or in this game specifically, <laughs> I should say. Um, so black belt. For the way, I think we want... Is this a doubles battle? I don't think it is. Uh, we're actually going to go Silk Scarf on the way. It's going to get Boom Burst more powerful. Uh, the thing that finally made me go, you know what, never mind, regarding Sucker Punch, was specifically, I'm just going to have the way Boom Burst through it. <laughs> um, I guess Tassara can have that. Samo. Let's go Rock Incense. Ryan. We can always buy we can buy gems now. So I'm gonna buy a steel gem here. And or I'm gonna use a steel gem here, and I wish we had a fairy gem. But we don't. So I guess let's just go. Sure something. Look, I'm sure she's fine. This is the fear we're talking about. She's not going to go down that easily. Until she proves otherwise, I'm going to be worried about her. I'm so glad we're all safe, but where's Safira? Yeah, she was so cool riding that giant Steelix. Do you think when she comes back, she'll let us all take a ride together? Anna, she fell off of it at the peak of Tanzan Mountain. Safira probably won't make it. 
Noel, don't lie. I'm not. Nomo says it's a rough fall, too. Don't get your hopes up, alright? If you don't have any hope, then how could you keep moving forward? Oh, please. I'm sure she'll pull out some mid-air dragonite help me out thing and just fly away peacefully. People in our family don't go down that easily. Speaking of your family, where are your parents? There's a reason we're at an orphanage, you know. Rather than that, who was the one with the high dragon? There was a lady there? I didn't see anyone. Yes, Anna. That high dragon just didn't just appear on her own. Someone was riding it. Rafe, do you have any idea? Lynn? That's a gross name. Hey, you didn't happen to get my pendant back, did you? The amethyst pendant? What do you mean they're using it as a key? Key? Wait, I just remembered an old story. Okay, there's an ancient city built around the crash site of a meteor. A temple that housed the meteor was sealed by four crystal keys. Ruby, sapphire, emerald, amethyst. The city fell into ruin and it was lost. What if your amethyst pendant is for the key from that story? That would mean the ancient city became reborn. So the ancient temple is just underneath Reborn City? That's why they blew up the Grand Stairway. Yep. When I heard the city officials explored underneath the stairway, they found a huge cavern with a ruin at the base. They found the lock, and now they need the keys. Heather's ruby ring must be one of the keys too. We have to stop Meteor from getting the keys. Which leaves emerald and sapphire. So these keys are embedded in jewelry. Remember those sapphire bracelets Dad gave you as a present for your birthday that one year? Oh, I had completely forgotten. Where are they now? I th lost them when Mom and Dad died. It's possible it didn't survive the fire. Is that where you got those burn scars from? Anna, for the last time, I don't have any scars. See? Perfectly clear. I don't see anything. Right. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I won't talk about them anymore. But since it's important, what fire are you talking about? Uh, it's something that happened when Charlotte er, when we were younger. Yeah, I don't want to be here for this. That's fair. Who had the silver or who had the sapphire bracelets? We ran into somebody else who had them. Awkward. So how's everybody doing? Oh, I know. While they're out, why don't Rafe and Noel finish the battle from earlier? I suppose it's necessary. Last one, there's a rotten execute. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do this fight, even though I'm it's probably a terrible idea to continue right now, but oh well. Nomos and I are ready whenever you are. Like before, take your place. Six on six singles. We can make substitutions. The battle will end when all six of one trainer's Pokemon have been knocked out. I, I didn't actually come up with my preferred or with a good start. So I guess we'll just see how this goes. Okay, this thing's going to be annoying. So I think the plan is just going to be to stomp on it immediately. In fact, this is pretty much the plan until it isn't. <laughs> uh, and now it isn't because Swallow uh, is going to be flying type. That's going to give us Samo bringing in as a rock type. Oh, Swallow's got Guts and... Okay, so if we protect, the burn should finish it off. Perfect. Uh, beware. So Beware is a fighting normal type. Uh, and this is what Fen is here for. Hoping a Moonblast, quite. She almost got the kill. Porygon Z. Okay. Z. 
do this. Boosted its defense, planted its roots, download became special attack. I'm going to hope that we can outspeed it, because if there's anything that can outspeed a Porygon Z, it's it's a, it's a Noivern. I don't know if that's actually true, but should be good. Well, that was really good. But it's more defensive than I was expecting. And we did outspeed it. Um, so the question becomes, do I try and save? I don't need to save anything else because the other thing I was thinking about for the way was having air slash against that beware if I needed a backup. So boom burst again. Um, this thing's going to be very fast, so I need something that can take a hit. Um, I'm going to go Sammo. Grass caught fire. What? Okay, whatever. We'll take it. Guess. We got through it. Giraffic. Okay. So this is one of the ones I was worried about. And actually, the, my plan for that was to just boom burst. And that's not going to work now. So we're going to have to punch through with something else. I'm going to actually... So Tassara was partially here for Swallow. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring... Uh... Just bring Tassara in. We're going to Icy Wind. Actually, we'll just continue Icy Wind. Perfect. Okay, and that leaves us with Clefable. Uh, which is what... So, Tassaro is a backup for that with Mirror Shot. Samo can help with that. This is a fairy type, so... It's too bad. They can't always get what they want. That's not a good start for us. Okay. So, Clefable has its roots in, which is an automatic ingrain. It has defense boost, calm mind. This might be a problem. We can't. If this doesn't do well. Oh, that's right, we have the steel gem. Okay, that makes me feel better. I was going to say, with the healing from the field and the ingrain. We need to take this thing out quick before it gets set up. More than that. Okay. Mark to 55. Well, Noos, I think they're setting a new standard. In accordance with official Reborn League policy, I present the standard badge. Pokemon can now go up to level seven or level 60. And we get Hidden Power. Hidden Power's type changes based on the Pokemon using it. It's useful to unlock inner potential and stuff. Did I miss something? Oh, Rafe just beat Noel for a badge. How is Charlotte? She's fine, but I think she needs some alone time. Can you tell us what really happened? When Charlotte was young, there was an accident. Back then, we all lived together. Charlotte, Sophia, Mom, and I, uh, and I, my, and Mom and Dad. She would sneak out late at night just to play in the garden or stare out at the lake. Nothing harmful. It was fine because it was safe here. But one night, she was playing with her Vulpix, and as you can see, it's easy for a fire to spread in a place like this. Sophia, Sophia woke me up and rushed me out of the house just in time, but our parents didn't make it. Ever since then, it's just been Sophia looking out for us especially after the doctor took us in. She's kept us safe for years. 
I really hope Charlotte's okay. I don't know what to do if she... If she were... I'm sorry, I shouldn't cry. I should be strong, like Safira. No, it's okay. Cry all you need. Tears are just one way of getting sadness out of the body. Come on, let's go inside. Nostra says you'll feel better after you have a snack and sit down. But thanks, Anna. You're right, I probably shouldn't be too hard on myself. I just can't stand the thought of losing either of them. Not when they're all I have. I don't know how they always keep their cool all the time. Sphere tells me that our emotions make us strong. I understand how she finds the drive to fight as hard as she does. But me, I think I'm just compromised. But then she tells me, no, I'm just a different kind of strong. I don't know what that means yet, but maybe someday I'll learn. Nice. You really think Sephira could have survived that? It's such a steep drop. You just relax. I'm taking care of everything else. And Noel's going to take us to the other room. I know the others are trying to save face, but there's no use in denying the obvious. There's a very high chance that Sephira is dead. We can't sit around and wait for her. There's no way Anna will let me leave. Being pragmatic, someone needs to go look for her. Based on where she fell, wouldn't be far from Tanzan Mountain. The top of Tanzan Mountain just explode? That's where Team Meteor's base was. Perhaps you'd better hurry. If by hurry you mean heal and save my game, you've got it. So, before we continue, I am going to go ahead and take a break here. We've got a bunch of exploring and backtracking, quasi backtracking to do here before we move on. And we've got, I'm honestly not sure what I'm going to, or what, I'll have to do some thinking about what party I want to take for this next section. Um, so yeah. Hope you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. If you'd like a Pokemon named after you, make sure you fill out the form in the description. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.